it's just junk. Hey guys, it's me, Navi, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be cleaning out my book bag. I've been needing to do this for a while now, but I'm a really bad procrastinator. I've just either been too busy or too exhausted or just not in the mood to do it. And today I don't have anything better to do, even though it's a nice, lovely, beautiful day outside. So I figured I would make a video while I clean my book bag and you guys can see all of what's in it and I can expose myself and y'all can roast me. But before we start cleaning, I would just like to go ahead and ask you all nicely. If you could like this video and subscribe to my channel if you liked any other, uh, any other of my videos and also to follow my social medias which will be in the description box below. Did I say box? I think I said box. Or somewhere on the screen. There it is. And now, we clean. All right, so this is my child. This is my book bag. I, as I said, I was a senior. It's, it feels so weird saying was. I feel like I should say is, but no, I'm no longer in school. I graduated two weeks ago, by the way. My book bag has been through it. As you can see, hopefully you can see, um, it, it's a mess. Once school got let out, I kind of just said, you know what, screw it. And I haven't touched my book bag, literally until just now, I haven't touched my book bag since I think the day we left school for the last time, which was in like March. All right, enough babbling. I'm just gonna go ahead and start pulling stuff out. My folders. I could go through the papers if you guys want. Actually, I'm not gonna read it because I don't wanna put you guys to sleep. This is my English folder. I don't know how you guys color coordinate your subjects, but for me, I go like, the way I do it is like, the order my classes are in, I put it in like, rainbow order. I don't, I don't. English is blue. Um, I don't, oh, this is German. I don't know if you guys like have a color for a foreign language, but yeah. This is just so much stuff that I have to go through. I see why I procrastinated doing this for so long. These are my German vocab sheets. There's like a lot of them. I've been taking German for three years. And considering that I took it for three years, you would think I'd be like somewhat fluent. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm like 25% fluent. I can say like short sentences, but please do not ask me to hold a conversation because, well, I mean like I can hold a conversation, but it's not gonna be a fluent one. It's gonna have like pauses in between. So where are you from? It come out the United States of America. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. And, and where do you live? Ik wona in Kentucky, Mina address it and that's about how the conversation would go i can say like where i'm from where i live what foods that i like i can talk about my family and other stuff basics i can i can get down with so like if you wanted to have like a surface level kindergarten conversation with me i'd be down with that so I don't have any more folders in here. Look at this. It's just, hey sis or brother. Just came in to check and see if you were still watching and I see you. But did you like and subscribe? But did you like and subscribe? You wanna like and subscribe? You know what? It's okay. It's okay. I'm an understanding person. That's why I'm gonna give you a chance right now to like and subscribe. Go on, I'll wait. Did you like and subscribe? You did? Cool, now we can get back to cleaning. It's just junk. I swear, if my mom were to ever randomly pick up my book bag, like while I was in the middle of just doing whatever, and she saw this, she's gonna think like, what am I sending you to school for? Aha, here's something educational. It's a book that I accidentally kept from my AP Lit teacher. I'm so sorry, Miss Moore. Um, this is called A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khalid Housini Husini? 
how some of you see, I don't know. I told y'all I'm not good at pronouncing names. I'm sorry. My AP Lit teacher recommended this book to me because I was trying to get back into the habit of reading and I did for a little while and then we went on quarantine. Love this book, dude. Oh my God. I think this bottle of lotion is empty, but yeah, as you can see, I keep things cheap around here. Is this empty? No, because some just flew out on the floor. It looks mostly empty. I think I can go ahead and throw this away. This is Christmas candy that my one of my best friends gave me and that I never, I never ate it. <laughs> I feel so bad because she's probably watching this right now and thinking I am never buying that ungrateful rat anything ever again. Oh my god, a bag of pixie sticks, dude. So there's a story behind this item. So back in February, I did the musical Hairspray and somebody, I forget who it was. I think it was my drama teacher. If not, it was the choreographer. One of them told us that a way to keep your energy up by doing all those shows back to back to back. Oh my God, I sound like a celebrity. Was by eating pixie sticks. So this guy, I know, I'm gonna withhold his name for privacy reasons. He went out and bought this big bag of pixie sticks. Like basically these, but there was like 10, maybe 20 of them. I, I don't know, I, I couldn't keep count. And like he started eating them back to back to back to back. I kid you not. And we were all trying to stop him because you know, all that sugar, that's, that's diabetes. One of the people there, they gave me a bag and told me to just take it wherever. So I took it and kept it. And this is kind of like my souvenir from that day slash that night. This is my pencil bag that to be honest i never used in the pencil bag is just like colored thingies colored items markers that i also finessed from my english teacher again i apologize colored pencils i also finessed from my english teacher i apologize i promise it was not on purpose pencils and stuff that I never used like like basically a bunch of backup pencils sharpies that are not mine I just don't remember where I got them a purple pen to match my shirt and yeah I'm a rogue I know it's from UK even though I'm not going there two pixie sticks that got lost which are also purple like my shirt Problem is though, is that I don't like grape. I don't like grape. Grape is canceled. That is all for the main pocket. Now we gotta clean out the little pockets. Yeah, usually in the little pockets, like this one right here is where I keep my unmentionables, if you know what I'm talking about, ladies. <laughs> She's talking about pets. I have sore throat from the throat. Sore throat. Throat. This was the box that it went in, but obviously the box has been crushed and destroyed. A box of Tylenols. Because I'd be cramping really bad and like my cramps get to a point where I can't walk, so I need those. A piece of wood that's supposed to be a souvenir from the PAC, aka Performing Arts Center, if you don't know what that stands for. We were cutting wood. And my boss was like, hey, you want a souvenir? I said, sure. He handed me this. I said, okay, and I just, I, I kept it and went, went from there. My edges brush, which is also purple, like my shirt. I got this brush from the dentist's office and I was like, I already have a toothbrush. What am I gonna use this for? Yeah, edges, honey. Mm-hmm. Look at them edges. This did this. Who, who needs an edge brush? when you have a toothbrush. Gum, gum really helps me focus in class. Like, if I'm studying or taking a test, I have to chew a piece of gum. I'm addicted to gum, just like I'm addicted to lip gloss. I have a piece of gum. I'm not keeping that, I'm not keeping that. And at the very bottom of the, of the food chain, or book bag chain, is bobby pins. We're getting there guys. Now it's time for 
the little pocket. My keys, one's to this house, one's to my grandma's house. This keychain that one of my best friends gave me before she left for Hawaii. I keep it for good luck and I think it's brought me a good amount of luck so far. Last little pocket. A ticket to see this one play that rumor has it was not that good. I saw part of the show and during it I was really confused with what was going on. I didn't get the storyline, the plot, just none of it. It was mostly just a bunch of opera singing and like old-timey vernacular and I just I just couldn't get off into it so and that that's all that is all the pockets it's empty it's empty we done thank you guys so much for joining me while I cleaned out my book bag I appreciate it so much if you liked seeing what was inside my book bag please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to check out some of my other videos don't forget to follow my social medias that will be in the description below or on the screen somewhere there I will also be putting a link in the description to where I got my book bag from in case any of you guys liked her and that is all that I have to say Hope you all have a great morning, slash afternoon, slash evening, slash whatever time you watch this. And I thank you for doing so. Bye-bye.